Welcome to Polk Today. I'm your host, Brian Lacey, and today is Friday, October 10th, 2014, and we start off today's show at the Polk History Center. It is the home of the Historical Museum and Genealogical Library. Now, the Polk County Historical Museum opened its doors in 1998 in the old Polk County Courthouse in downtown Bartow. The museum's exhibits and programs continue to grow and change as new information and artifacts become available. The Heritage Trail travels a path of history of Polk County, and Murtis Young is going to continue us on our tour. Hello and welcome to Polk County, the heart of Central Florida. I'm Murtis Young, Historic Preservation Manager. Join me as we travel on the Heritage Trail and discover Polk County's rich and diverse historic sites. The diverse history of the area is evident across Polk County, from city centers and urban neighborhoods to rural farms and cultural landscapes along our roads, railways, and rivers. History allows us to explore sense of place, the unique character of the county, and learn about the numerous people and events that shape the region. In celebration of this rich cultural heritage, the Polk County Heritage Trail was developed to highlight more than 150 years of county history. From historic homes and museums to Civil War sites, the trail provides an opportunity for communities to share their local history in the authentic locations where it happened. Join us in exploring the Polk County Heritage Trail. Today's stop on the Heritage Trail brings us to the campus of the Sun and Fun Fly-In, located next door to Lakeland Linder Regional Airport. This sprawling campus is not only home to the wildly popular annual Sun and Fun Fly-In, but also aerospace discovery at the Florida Air Museum and also Central Florida Aerospace Academy. Polk County has a long and rich history in aviation. Airfield construction in the county began in the 1930s and continued during World War II as Central Florida became a popular pilot training area. Lakeland Army Airfield, today's Lakeland Linder Regional Airport, was home to a variety of squadrons during World War II, including B-17s, B-24s, and P-51 Mustang fighter aircraft. The Florida Air Museum, Florida's official aviation museum and education center, chronicles this rich history while also providing a rich array of community educational opportunities. Visitors can explore the museum's aerospace timeline, examine exhibits on military and civilian airlines in Florida, and peruse the interactive Florida Aviation Hall of Fame exhibit. Impressively restored aircraft including a 1913 Laird baby biplane and RAND's S-19 ultralight, to name only a few, line a runway on the museum's floor and are also gracefully suspended above. Visitors can experience the thrill of an air race in a simulator located at the Air Racing and Aerobatics exhibit or explore the Pilot Resource Center for an interactive weather briefing and flight planning. One of the most unique and fascinating additions to the museum is an exhibit on Howard Hughes, American business tycoon, aviator, filmmaker, and aerospace engineer. Hughes was a close associate of Al Lodwig, who ran the Lodwig School of Aviation at Lodwig Field, site of today's Joker Marchant Stadium in Lakeland. Lodwig helped Hughes plan his 1938 trip around the world. The exhibit includes Hughes' personal leather flight suits, rare models of the H1 racer, and spruce goose, racing trophies, books, and other memorabilia. Also located on the campus is the Central Florida Aerospace Academy, one of Polk County School's workforce career academies. This exciting high-tech academy gives students the opportunity to pursue a number of aviation related careers while earning a high school degree. A massive Boeing 727 is located on the campus giving students a fully functioning interactive classroom at their fingertips. Polk State College's aerospace program also provides associate and bachelor's degrees in aerospace studies and has a classroom on the campus. 
Students from both programs have the opportunity to participate in restoration projects at the 8,000 square foot Bueller Restoration Center. The Tom Davis Aerospace Education Center, Piedmont Aerospace Lab, and Crossville Aerospace Center provide additional spaces for year-round STEM educational activities and summer camps. The Sun and Fun Campus provides a wealth of opportunities to explore Polk County's rich aviation history and is only one of many sites you'll find on the Polk County Heritage Trail. So we invite you to hit the trail and see what other interesting sites you'll find in Polk County. The Polk County History Center is open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And for more information on what they have to offer, you can give them a call 863-534-4386 or look them up on the web at polkhistorycenter.org. A new and unique sport gracing the floors of the Hangar E at Lakeland Linders Airport is roller derby. Shelly Rossiter with the Lakeland Derby Dames stopped by the set and visited with the boys from Sports Central and gives them a lesson derby style. But we have female roller derby right here in Polk County. Our guest, Shelly Rossiter. I got that right, didn't I? You did, good job. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And for those of, the, of you that would like to know, Shelly is from Michigan originally, another Detroit Tigers fan, moving down, and uh, now you're here in, in Lakeland, Florida. Yes. So talk to us about the, the Lakeland Derby Dames. Did yes. I get that right? Yes, the Lakeland Derby Dames. Okay. Uh, we've been around since 2011. So wow, three years? Yeah, we've been here for a few years, and uh, we're just finishing up our latest season. But um, it's a team of about uh, 20 skaters, all women. We uh, skate flat track style derby. Versus the bank. Versus the bank. So okay. what you might remember was probably banked, um, and what you might remember was also staged a lot of times, yeah. you know, like the fighting and yeah. the elbows and, and all that. Well, this is uh, much more of a serious sport now okay. and with rules and, and no punching, Okay. fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and we play out at Sun and Fun, uh, out at an airplane hangar out there. Hangar E. Hangar E, e. yes. Okay. <laughs> So each of your competitions you is referred to as a bout. Yes. So uh, give us some of the details and the rules of how, how, does, how does roller derby work? Okay, so it's a little bit confusing, but I'll try. <laughs> um, so yes, each game is called a bout. Uh, they're 60 minutes long, two 30 minute halves. Um, each uh, two minutes on the track is called a jam. Um, when a new jam starts, four blockers from each team go out and a jammer from each team. It is the blockers' job to stop the opposing team's jammer from getting around them. Um, on the first, they have to make it through one pass, the jammer, and on the second pass, they start to score points for each jam each blocker that they pass. Okay. Keeping up. Yep. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know that's. Uh, <laughs> and so along the way, the blockers um, are you know hitting with their uh, arms, shoulders, uh, hips, uh, trying to get the jammer out. Um, and stop them from scoring points. Now you don't look like a roller derby person. Yeah, um, none of us really, you know, in our day-to-day -day lives look like <laughs> we would play roller derby. It's like our, our secret. So <laughs> well, what, what is your position? Uh, yeah. Um, I do a little bit of everything out on the track. Okay. So. What's your favorite position? Um, probably I'm just learning how to jam, so it's, it's fun, it's a challenge. Okay. It's a little scary. <laughs> you get a few bruises along the a way? A few bruises. Okay. Yeah. Nothing serious? Um, you know, not too bad. There's there's every once in a while some, now, some were you a, injury, but. You're a jock now. And uh, were you a jock in your, I mean, did you play soccer or? Uh, no, not Baseball, really. football, I, softball? I run a little bit for fun. And, okay. uh, you know, I was like a cheerleader in high school. So not really. <laughs> but you go from cheerleader <laughs> into roller derby. How did that all happen? I mean, I mean, you just don't wake up one morning and go, Wow, I think I'm going to try roller derby today. Well, actually, I kind of did. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, you know, a few years ago, there was a popular movie called Whip It, and if you haven't seen it, it was a good movie. It had Drew Barrymore in it. Um, you know, I saw it with my friends and thought, well, that looks cool. And uh, then I kind of just randomly happened to meet the person who coaches our team, um, and she was like, you can come join us, try it. 
see if you like it. And from there, I just kind of stayed. Wow. So you guys have some an event coming up. So let's yeah. let's get some information before we before we lose time. We want to make sure everybody knows about <laughs> no, what's coming up. So let's, let's talk us. a little bit about that. Yes. So the best way to learn about roller derby is to come watch. Staying on top of the events here at Polk today includes a look at the weather. For the latest forecast conditions and a look at what's happening in the tropics, we take you to the Emergency Operations Center with EOC coordinator Billy Abernathy. Hey, Billy. Thanks, Brian. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bill Abernathy, Polk County Emergency Management from the Emergency Operations Center. And this is your weather brief for Friday, October 10th, 2014. For today, we can expect a high of 91, mostly sunny skies, uh, low tonight of 70, humidity today of 95%. Winds will be from the east, northeast at 8 to 13 miles an hour, with occasional gusts reaching up to 18 miles per hour. No rain is in the forecast till Monday, so we should have a great weekend for Zombie Fest and also the opening ceremony for the World Shoot Competition in Lakeland. And for Saturday, the weekend, we can expect sunny skies, high of 91, low of 70. Winds will be from the east northeast at 5 to 8 miles per hour. And for Sunday, we can expect Sunday, sunny skies also, 89, high. A low of 72, winds will be from the east at 5 to 9 miles per hour. And now to the allergy report. Levels are going to remain moderate for uh, ragweed, elm, and grasses. Pollen rate is going to remain to a moderate level as a result of the stable temperatures. And now to the tropics. We're currently Mercy Mansions monitoring three areas in the tropics. The first uh, area, identified with a yellow circle, is a tropical low, Invest 99. Uh, this system is 350 miles north-northeast of the Leeward Islands. This system has become better organized. Environmental conditions are becoming more favorable for development of this uh, system. Tropical depression could form within the next couple of days. The next named storm on the list is Tropical Storm Fay, if this system is named. Development of this system in 48 hours is at 70% and in five days also at 70%. The second area, identified with the white circle, is a wave east of the Lesser Antilles. This system has moderate to strong convection associated with it. This system is also moving to the west at 17 miles per hour. And now the third area, identified with the blue circle, this system has a 109 millibar low pressure system associated with it. The system is just west of the Cape Verde Islands moderate to strong convection with this system as it moves to the west at 15 miles per hour. I'm Bill Abernathy, Polk County Emergency Management, and I'll see you back here Monday on PGTV. Back to you, Brian. Hey, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, downtown Lakeland is the place to be. A world-class event, the World Shoot, the IPSC World Shoot opening ceremonies happening downtown Lakeland. It's something you gotta check out. Uh, uh, Lakeland will be the, the backdrop, the stage for this world-class event. And like I said, the, uh, the opening event scheduled for Sunday night, so make sure you check it out. That's gonna do it for today's show. As a reminder to keep current with programs or progress in the county, visit us online at polk-county.net or follow us on Facebook and Twitter or even check out the Polk County YouTube channel. I invite you to join us Monday for a look at tips from Polk County Fire Rescue, a clerk of the courts update, and featured animals from SPCA Florida. I want you to, to enjoy your weekend and we'll see you right back here Monday. <laughs>